Hey, this is John Frost with the Disney Blog, and believe it or not, I'm back with Brian Rodriguez, who's a marketing strategies manager for Walt Disney World Resort. And today we're going to talk a lot about Disney's Animal Kingdom's new amazing nighttime offerings. So first, can you tell me what uh, guests should expect when they're planning their vacation? They should expect to stay longer at Animal Kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah starting, uh, starting this summer, Animal Kingdom is going to be open until the nighttime hours, which is really exciting. We bring a lot of new nighttime entertainment to the park. The headliner entertainment will be Rivers of Light, which is a new nighttime show. It will be a spectacle that brings together uh, water screens, floating lanterns, swirling animal imagery, all together on this beautiful show that takes place right on Discovery River. The show uh, goes throughout uh, several times in the evening and will uh, bring together really a timeless celebration of humans and animals living together in nature. So all of that coming together in a beautiful show on the, on the lake is going to be an amazing experience for guests. So how do you get to experience that show? Do you need to fast pass or will it be available? just as a standby? There will be Fast Pass, it will be available for the show. Uh, it's not open just yet, but as we announce the dates for the show in the summertime, Fast Passes should become available. Great. So, after, so what are, I know that the Tree of Life right behind us is gonna have a new show element too. Can you tell me what that's going to be? Yeah, the, the Tree of Life behind me uh, will become awakened at night. So right now, obviously it's during the daytime, but there'll be uh, uh, animal stories that come to life on the tree. So sporadically throughout the evening at different times, those stories will come alive. You'll see these animal uh, images come on there and they'll tell stories of love, giving, and uh, adventure all throughout the evening. So it's going to be more of a surprise and delight for the guests to see that. Where will you want to be to, to see that? Or the viewing area will be towards the front of the tree, so behind us, kind of in the entry, uh, entry okay. foyer way, and then on the on the respective sides. The projection of the uh, the awakenings will not be on the back side. Either. Great. All right. Thank you. So that's two out of three. What else is coming? The uh, in addition, the nighttime entertainment also goes to parties. So we have several parties going on throughout the night. One of them is called the Harambe Wildlife Party, and that party is takes in the place in the streets of Harambe. There'll be dancers, performers and also some acrobatic performers. Uh, one of them specifically is the Harambe Soccer Meerkats. So there'll be soccer performers that actually can do many stunts inspired by uh, African animals, which will be really exciting to see. And That's then cool. on Discovery Island Carnival is another party that will take place in Discovery Island. That has more of a Latin world beat uh, flair to it. So that's something that uh, the whole family will want to enjoy and kind of get up and dance and uh, enjoy that party on that side. Now, and before, I've always when I've come to Animal Kingdom, I've always told guests, head to the safari first thing in the morning because that's when the animals are most active. But that was only because you couldn't be on the ride when the sun was down. So sure. now I hear there's a whole bunch of new activity after the sun goes down. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, even uh, one of the rumors is that, you know, go on the safari early. And, and even my experience that any time during the day, the safari is really a great experience. But as we move into the nighttime hours, since Kilimanjaro Safari is, is one of the guest favorites, we worked, uh, you know, Imagineering as a, uh, worked to make sure that attraction could stay open into the nighttime hours. So there'll be a permanent sunset that will extend on Kilimanjaro Safari so that can stay open uh, late for guests and uh, they'll be able to experience new animals as well during that uh, experience. Wild dogs and hyenas may be out on the, on the savannah during those evening hours as well as many of your favorite animals that you see during the day as well. So it's going to be a whole new world here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. What is it called? What are they calling it again? Uh, really, it's, it's, it's Animal Kingdom, Disney Animal Kingdom nighttime experiences. We're all part of the Awakened Summer, uh, which is all the new product coming across Walt Disney World. So if you're looking for more, you definitely want to plan your trip and look at all the new exciting offerings we have at Disney World. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Brian. You're welcome.